Carl is literally trying to say that women like to be cheated on. If you eat more, you'll be fatter. If you eat less, you'll be thinner. Just, that is not always the case. I mean, great way to cause a fucking eating disorder. I think women divorce for no reason all the time. <clears throat> Little things, they start to build up. It's a consistent build up that just bursts. Chores is a crazy reason to get divorced and break up a home and put your kid at every statistical disadvantage that you possibly could. That is not okay. But to stay in an environment which is incredibly toxic because all you do is create a, a worse environment for your child. I guess, so ignore <laughs> the seriously heavy makeup. I was inspired by Rhea Ripley and I wanted to do some really cool makeup. This is what it turned out to be. Today, I wanted to talk about Just Pearly Things. Is that her? I guess that's her YouTube. I just know her as Pearl. I keep getting recommended on my TikTok, on even on shorts, I think on YouTube, debates between Pearl and Destiny. And 99% of the time, I agree with what Destiny is saying. Pearl has some of the worst takes in any debate because it is complete pick me energy. And by that, I mean, she's trying to basically suck up to men in general, to the point that she is putting down all fucking women. I'm gonna go through a couple of clips and just explain why I think these are terrible fucking takes and extremely misogynistic to women. I think modern women, I think they like being cheated on. I swear to God. Yeah. Because the amount of girls that come like on my show. Like being cheated Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they never <laughs> leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you could say that about modern men yeah. because they like the baddest bitch yeah, in the room. I mean, I don't See, it's interesting. And she's you gonna know, cheat. You know, you know what's interesting? Especially with you <laughs> and like other girls that come on the show. Whenever we talk about women, like they always have to say, but men. Because it's, it's, it's balance. Because, it's about balance. Yeah, but, but this is it's, it's like, it's like we, don't, we don't we don't we don't go into the women's conversation and say and into the women's conversation and say but men but why don't we just say but people but people why is it so divisive because, if men aren't choosing these women yeah why well, how are they cheating more if i'm not chosen i yeah. can't cheat on anyone yeah, but, so i'm being chosen women, as a cheat women yeah. get away with cheating more yeah. women yeah. are I'm, way sneakier than men but we can only men. do it if we're being chosen so married women cheat as much as married okay, men okay this is all right this is my point when he's cheating she stays when he's not cheating she goes like i don't i don't see the same thing for men where when she's cheating he stays when she's not cheating he goes but I, I don't I feel like men. Uh, I do, but it doesn't add up statistically. If you're saying women file for divorce more and women cheat more, mm -hmm. that tells us that women are being selected more and they're the ones choosing to leave. So men aren't leaving cheaters. Pearl is literally trying to say that women like to be cheated on because they stay with a man more than men stay with women after they find out the woman's cheated, I guess. This person debating, I'm sorry, I don't know her name, makes an incredible point. Like, if women are the ones, actually, the people who are filing for divorce more often than men are filing to, for divorce, this point has no statistical basis. And it's literally just a pick me energy fucking moment for Pearl. I just think as an adult, you know, if you eat, if you eat more, you'll be fatter. If you eat less, you'll be I thinner. I just have a problem with how cut and shut this is, guys. I'll be so honest with you. I, I just think that nothing is that black and white in life. But this is what, so this, this is, is what what unfortunate, but it's the truth. This is a women, this is, this is a phrase, this is a phrase women, that women always say on my show. Black and white <laughs> because, and because, no, because I think women were generally more empathetic than men. Yeah. And so I think we're always looking for the exceptions and the but, but like when it comes down to it, like be accountable for your results i'm all about it and so and so if you're if you're bigger it's because of a choice that you made it's not because you didn't get the right education right it's not because you know you're not informed about food we have the internet you can google anything you want to google it can't be it can't come on but this is what you know it but it is and that's that's the thing like when we keep giving excuses to women yeah. like it, it's it's worse on us in the long run I'm because we're excusing thing. bad behavior that is not always the case in general Yes, the more you eat, obviously the bigger you're gonna get. The less you eat, the thinner you're gonna get. I mean, great way to cause a fucking eating disorder, but you know. But also, like, have you not seen the amount of stuff that bodybuilders eat? It depends if you're working off that energy. Also, people struggle from disabilities and health conditions that cause them to gain or lose weight. It is not always due to the fact that people are eating too much or eating too little. There is always, always fucking grey. I hate this girl. Do you do you agree that some majors are useless? I'm just curious. no major is useless. Some majors don't make money, but mm -hmm. people talk about like useless majors. Okay. Like the only point of college is to make money. Right. Like, it comes like, down yeah. to ROI. When we talk about ROI, the return part there of that investment, the return can be cultural. We need art majors. We need history majors. We need English majors. It's an important part of having a functioning society. College shouldn't just be a jobs training program. There should be other things that we learn and we have like exemplified in society as well. Paul says that let's just admit that some majors are useless. Destiny makes an incredible point. 
not all majors are simply to make the person a shitload of money going into the arts and history and things like that like, it's not always going to make you millions people don't always want to just make millions and millions and millions they want to do something they love why is that so minimized by society nowadays like just because you don't earn six seven figures oh you must be lesser than like, I why mean, do you think I, they're going to get divorced? I think women divorce for no reason all the time. <laughs> okay, no that's, 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 yeah. that's absolutely yeah, honestly, retarded. You just need to talk honestly, to more people then. Because I, that's not I, true. I talk to people every, you don't, you don't four talk, days a week you, for no, no. a year. Yeah, oh, talk to no. If you <laughs> think that people <laughs> just get divorced. Four days a week. Four days a week. Talk to your podcast. On the street. Red pill community. That's different. Esther, Esther, you've never seen my street interviews then. I've done so many street interviews. I talk to random strangers on the street all the time. And you and you find women that get divorced like, oh, you know, I just wanted to get divorced. I mean, no, but the reasons like, can I tell you the reasons? Like what chores? Because dumb, dude, you're, oh my God, you're actually a child. What do you think love is? You're just like romantically going away to Venice like every year and that's like, like, no, a relationship requires a lot of deliberate work and things like, hold on, hold on, things like chores are where relationships start to break down and it'll steamroll into bigger things. Like a guy not doing chores ever might be a guy that you don't want to fuck anymore. And then you not having sex ever might be you guys just don't get along anymore. And then like three months into it, you fucking hate each other. And you don't know why. And you're not sleeping together even. You're not having any sex. You don't do anything together. And it starts over small shit. But anybody that's been in any relationship long term, I don't know how old you guys are, but if you've been in real relationships long term, these little things will pile up and fucking kill you. Like, that you, like why do you have to let it get to that point? I feel like Ask the guys that aren't doing the chores. Doesn't he hit the nail on the fucking head mentioned this before i know fat shady has mentioned this before when you are in a relationship you are in a fucking partnership and if you are not both working together inside that partnership if it feels like one person is pulling the weight of the relationship like cleaning up after the other person all the time and taking care of the kids or the animals little things when things like that aren't done and you feel like you're constantly asking your partner to help you with the bare minimum this is literally bare minimum fucking shit around the house like little things they start to build up and they become bigger things it should be shared however you want to share it it should be a shared fucking chore list it shouldn't be expected that oh well the woman's just going to do everything because what happens is the woman will then feel unappreciated and when she feels unappreciated she'll for example stop having sex with the guy and then the guy will feel like he's being underappreciated because his needs are not being met even though he's already not meeting the bare minimum that his wife is asking of him and things like that just start building and building and building and it will seem like really small things but it's it's a pile it's a consistent build-up that just bursts and that's when people get divorced and it will seem like it's over little things but really the relationship started to break down over very little things which became big things like i don't feel appreciated i don't feel loved anymore i don't feel like you want me around i feel like i'm just you know i'm a piece of the furniture now that's what happens in relationships that's a partnership and the fact that destiny says all of this and pearl literally just reiterates her same point because she clearly didn't fucking listen or understand anything he said like has she literally never been in a partnership or a relationship ever do you think it's controversial no. to say that i think chores is a crazy reason to get divorced and break up a home and put your kid at every statistical disadvantage that you possibly could no chores? because it's not just so chores. Like, i just think that's a stupid if you reason. can't do chores you probably I can't pick your kid up on time you probably aren't paying attention to the needs of your fucking wife <laughs> okay, you probably then, aren't keeping other points like you you can't do chores. At Everything else in life is probably falling then apart. Then you should have picked a better guy. That's cool. it. And, and then you know what? Then you divorce. Then you divorce. You find someone else. Yeah, once you have kids, it's not about you anymore. I mean, I don't really. If you someone, no. if someone wants to get divorced, fine. But like, I just think once you have kids, it's not about you. Wait, Wait you're, can no, I just you say? Can we stop using this excuse of just pick a better guy? as a as a answer every time women aren't happy about situation mm -hmm. can we just hold men accountable and just say please can you help your woman out coming from a broken home if that's what you want to call it from divorced parents i know loads of people who have come from divorced households i'm someone from a divorced household being in a toxic environment where two a husband and wife are constantly screaming at each other or if there's passive aggressiveness or verbal abuse physical abuse for example that is not okay but to stay in an environment which is incredibly toxic because all you do is create a, a worse environment for your child is it great for you know parents to be split no that like obviously the the happy family is to have two parent household who love and care about each other but divorce fucking happens like more than 50 percent of the fucking time can we just like admit that it's better to be a 
separate and happy rather than together and miserable because all you're doing is causing trauma latent trauma to your child pearl saying that oh well you know you have to think of the child first they are thinking of the child no parents that get divorced do not consider how this will affect the child prior to getting divorced like grow up Anyway, like, I just wanted to mention these few things because I've just been seeing this a lot on Twitter, like I say, a lot on TikTok, and the majority of the time I don't even need to say anything because Destiny fucking says everything that needs to be said. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this a like and subscribe if you feel like it, I'd really appreciate it. I try to post about once a week. I'm trying to post a bit more, but when I've got, like, really long format videos, it will be a little bit more scattered, and I apologise, you know, life. But if you want to see my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.